Listen, fella, he has nowhere to go. Oh, this is kind of sad. Oh. Go, buddy, go. Oh. And it, boy, there's your teacher. Oh, shit, get out of the way, Josh. What if he comes this way? No way. Yo, look at those girls, eh? They got him. Guys, this is a very rare experience. Very sorry, but it is a. Yeah, Chris, make your way, make your way. They just caught the Eland. Yeah, just next to the road. Wow, guys, you, you don't understand how lucky you are. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I just can't watch that kind of stuff. Yeah, no, I apologize. No, no, it's, I, uh, I know it's a wonderful thing. It is one of those things, though, like, if you actually understand that they play a very big role in managing populations of other animals. Because, it's um, yeah, it's nature. So, so managing the population, you can imagine if the population of herbivores or antelope got too big, yeah. they would start to eat too much and then eventually actually start starving themselves. So it is actually humane. You can see this is an old individual. So this male eland, you can see the top of his horns are snapped off. Mm -hmm. um, so it is actually a vital part of also getting rid of the, the weak or the older generations within a population as well. So guys, you saw the whole start to finish, eh? Stalk, chase, and kill. Well, that is something that is very, very special to see. Even though it is quite sad, it is something that we don't get to see on a daily basis, especially this close to the road. So the male kind of chased him into the female. Yeah, so the male, you saw what he did. He followed our car. He actually wanted to stalk around our car. Yeah. And then uh, he went around and he chased the, the Elon towards the rest of the pride. So very, very, very clever of him. Um, but you can see how, how lions always have a strategy when it comes to hunting. So even though we don't understand it, they always know what they're doing. So this kill will probably last them a few days. Because um, the eland is a, a very big thing to catch.